so here's what you need um the green chutney green chilies a uh, ginger garlic eight six to eight pork chops uh some peppercorns half a lemon juice some cumin seeds and turmeric powder going to so we are going to grind the green chilies ginger garlic paste some chutney uh maybe like about four maybe like four to six spoons of the chutney and uh squeeze the lemon juice along with the peppercorns and the cumin seeds um and grind this to like a nice uh smooth paste If you don't like it too spicy, go less uh, on the um, peppercorns. Oh, and I also forgot to add um, previously that you need to add some salt. So you can see that I dropped some salt along with the turmeric powder. So do that as well. So here we are using the Preeti mixer. Um, the links will be in the description box. It comes, this one makes it really smooth. So we use that. And here are the pork chops ready for the marinade to go on it. So we're just going to uh, smear all the, the ground um, spice mix. And um, yeah, I mean, just smother it all over the pork chops at the back. Just keep moving them around and uh, cover every centimeter of the pork chops. So I'm turning uh, them over carefully and uh, I'm gonna smother them on this side. So these pork chops were being made when we were in Montreal. Uh, and then later after the video, you'll see uh, me working here like currently. So we keep making these pork chops quite often. So um, yeah, don't be alarmed if you see like differences in the kitchen equipment or the kitchen flooring or anything like that. It's the same recipe, the exact same thing. We keep making the, this all the time. So once we marinate it... Um, or well, not marinated really but once i apply the mix uh i usually keep it for like um 20 minutes 15 to 20 minutes and then i move on to the next section so uh, um the egg is something that you can add uh, along with the green chutney mix or you can add it later as well and here you can see this is what i'm going to add to the breadcrumbs chili powder garlic powder and salt just mix it up with the panko uh, breadcrumbs that you've put in a plate or a tart and preheat your oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. So here I'm mixing it all up. The salt, the chili powder and the garlic powder with the panko uh, breadcrumbs. Just the original panko bre breadcrumbs. So since I forgot to add the egg before, I'm breaking the egg now and then I'm applying it right now. But this time when I made it here uh, in Vancouver, I, um, I just added it uh, to the spice mix while I was applying the green spice mix to the pork chops. So here it goes in and then you just... Um, so usually you're in this so today i i didn't do it this way i put the breadcrumbs with my other hand i used my other hand to add the dried breadcrumbs to the pork chops i think it's more it's more efficient but anything works i mean you know as long as the breadcrumbs are on the pork chops that's what's important 
so there you can see them ready to go inside the oven so we'll bake it for about in total for 25 minutes but um we'll turn them in about 15 minutes so in goes the trays for about 15 minutes take them out turn them and then in for another 10 minutes and then it should be done so here they come out So here you can see that uh, it's already done. The 25 minutes are over and they are ready. So next, the next video, um, the next few seconds, I'll show you what we did right now. You'll see the, so this one is the Montreal pork chops. And then the same thing uh, we did here today in Vancouver. So that will show up in a bit. Yeah. Here you go. So we are checking the temperature. It has to be... Uh, 145 degrees uh, Fahrenheit or about, I don't know, I think six, 65 degrees uh, Celsius. So this is 196, it's cooked. We're going to turn them all. There you go, babe. Turn them. And then we cook them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take the pork for support. Super. Wow. So it's been about uh, 15 minutes, right? So another 10 minutes and it should be done. Super. Let's put it back in and get the other tray out. Gloves, babe. Get the next one out. We'll do the same for this tray. Look at this tray. My mind. I wonder if it's the silicone that's getting this. Uh, you know, allowing it to get enough. It is. It is a silicone mask. It's black thing. It is. It is black thing. Yes, I agree. Okay, let's put this one in. So, 10 minutes again at 450 degrees. And then we'll remove it and serve it. Alrighty. Removing the silicone tray, okay. How cool. We've had this a million times and it comes out so good every single time and uh, yeah you can make the same thing in chicken just the baking time will be different i'll write it in the description box okay let's look at this tray this is got a good color too now Oh, I'm very happy. So the chicken needs to be cooked, uh, baked at um, 425 degrees and the internal temperature needs to reach 185 degrees. And I'll write the timings um, of the chicken in a bit. Enjoy! <laughs>